In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Na2CO3. This is sulfuric acid, and this is sodium carbonate. So the first thing we do when we do net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and this is actually already balanced, so that's nice. Then we write the states for each substance. H2SO4, that's a strong acid that is going to dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. We say it's aqueous. Sodium carbonate, sodium compounds, they're very soluble, split apart. Again, we have another sodium compound here. Water is a liquid, and carbon dioxide, that's a gas. So we have all the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions. This is called the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Hydrogens in group one, it forms one plus ions. And then our sulfate group, this whole SO4 thing, good one to remember, forms two minus. So we have two H plus ions. And I'll write aqueous and everything at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus our one sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. Sodium, also in group one, one plus ions. Carbonate, that whole thing has a two minus ionic charge. Two sodium ions and then just the one carbonate ion. So those are the reactants. On the products, again, we said plus and then two minus. So we have two of the sodium ions plus the one sulfate ion. And then water, we're not gonna split that apart because it's a liquid and carbon dioxide is a gas. We don't split that apart either. So this is the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. They don't change in the chemical reaction, so we're really not interested in them. I see right here I have a sulfate in the reactants and a sulfate ion in the products. I'm going to cross that out. I have two sodium ions here, two here. Cross those out. But everything else is unique, and that is going to give us our net ionic equation. Let me clean this up. I'll write the states in, and we'll have the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Na2CO3. And this is the net ionic equation for sulfuric acid plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.